Hello. Whoa. Ugh, my jaw just feels different today. I got the worst night of sleep. I feel like I did not sleep until like 4, 4 to 7 a.m. maybe. I don't know. So I'm gonna go pick up some coffee. We actually have cleaning people here at the house. Feels so fancy. Yeah, I've never had like a cleaning service four really but with four people living in a house we kind of need it and it's actually not even that expensive so it's it's really totally worth it for the time that we'll save not having to clean so oh my gosh they like organized my bathroom a little bit that is amazing but yay super clean in here Starbucks this morning wow well I need to add wash my car to the to-do list. Quick goodwill trip. Hopefully the last one. Oh my god. Now time to find a car wash around here. I haven't gotten my car washed since the Palm Springs road trip. The outside is so dirty, but so is like look this is so it's just it's disgusting. The car washes in LA they're honestly kind of overpriced and they take a long time so i'm gonna start trying all of them around me and see if i find a good one my car is sparkling clean now that they did an amazing job looks pristine okay i just got to my doctor's office and i just got a headache <laughs> but I'm excited to just see what's up. So let's go. I'm so numb. Oh my God. Just got out of the appointment. I'm really numb. And I'll give you a recap when I'm not as not. It's the next day. I just showered and actually kind of got ready, like put on an outfit that I like. This little, this is like a set thing, like not a lot of clothing, but I think it's cute. <laughs> it's kind of warm out, so it's fine. So my appointment yesterday was interesting. <laughs> they told me I actually don't have an infection. Originally they thought it was an infection because I was in Seattle. I was only able to send a photo. So it did look like an infection. But then when the doctor looked at it yesterday, he realized that the skin had just grown over one of the screws. If you look at the x-ray, there are screws in place like all up in here and all up in here. But there are also four little tiny screws right here to hold the rubber bands. And those screws they actually took out yesterday, which was very weird. Um, it, it didn't hurt, um, but they did have to numb me for the one where the skin grew over it. Just cause like that one would have been painful if they hadn't. Uh, but yeah, they just, you know, took a screwdriver or whatever. I don't really know. Uh, they were also kind of surprised that I don't have as much facial movement yet. And they said that usually only happens in patients that are like older, like 60, but it does happen sometimes to younger people. It's rare, but he seemed really confident that it would come back. Like I just have to try and make different facial expressions and it's hard cause it does hurt. Like it hurts to go. He also said that 
I am still really swollen and this is not how I'm gonna look forever so I was really relieved to hear that. He said even after two months you still have like 20% swelling so after one month I you know I probably still have like 30 or 40% swelling. I feel like there's a lot in here. Yeah I guess just trying to be patient. <sighs> oh my god you guys I, I messed up so I ordered a TV and a mount and I went to pick it up and it does not fit <laughs> my car is just sitting here so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try and call an uber and see if I can get them to take it to my house because it's not even that far away so here it is just chilling I made it back to my house he brought it he didn't steal it oh my god that was kind of stressful so i didn't vlog it in the moment because i had to drive but mission accomplished it is saturday morning and i have a task rabbit coming to set up the tv so i'm gonna unbox it now i know this tv it kind of seems overkill like the box makes it look huge but the thing is tvs have dropped in price so much like to get a 70 inch tv was i think it was like under 500 dollars so that's the biggest one that could fit in this space and it's kind of a big space so i don't know i was like might as well it's not like it's like thousands of dollars so i'm definitely going to have to help hold it at the point where it's actually being mounted but the task rabbit thinks that between me and him we can do it and so while he's doing most of the work i'm gonna work on my powerpoint for powerpoint night we have a tv you can kind of tilt a bit all we need is a couch love my event planner roommate just <laughs> Got my suit. Um, <laughs> yeah. Tell me what's over my where's up. Ah! Alright, we're going to take power point. Yeah, we're going to take power point. Look at that. I'm just crying. Not again. Oh, it's 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 is that the one closest to us? It's the one that closed down in Santa Monica. Shelby. Yeah. It's a different <laughs> one. That was on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We are building a chair. First little chair, almost done. We did it. Woo! It honestly was not that hard, you guys. Probably took us 10 minutes to assemble each thing. Good morning, it is Monday today. I did not sleep elevated at all, so my face is so puffy. It's my own fault. It just, it's so, it's so much less comfortable sleeping elevated and I don't really have to anymore. So I stopped. It just makes me like more swollen in the morning today. I have my first post-op orthodontist appointment. So we'll go see what's up. Maybe get some Invisalign scans or whatever. Okay, I just got to the orthodontist. The waiting room is closed, so I have to wait in my car. Wow, I'm so pale, like just ghostly pale. I might get a spray tan, even though it's like, not much is really gonna help <laughs> at this point, but I don't know. I'm just sick of like, looking in the mirror and being like, oh my God. <laughs> You're like, this is an expert expert. <laughs> Cool. Awesome. Isn't that crazy that yeah. your bite is just like a normal-ish so, bite? It was crazy because you're used to braces taking like months and so when I bit down I was like, whoa. Whoa. It's just fire. like boom. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then we still have to like get everything perfect but it's going to mm -hmm. be like so much. Like one week after I feel like the bite was better and then this canine tooth, the one that's like wired, it started kind of hitting and blocking the other uh, ones. Uh huh. So I don't know if it's like my bottom tooth shifting or what. Easier to fix with Invisalign. Cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. Like you're hitting right in here. So we just gotta like kick this guy out and then mm -hmm. the bite will settle. So they just made sure everything was looking good and they didn't seem concerned about the canine tooth hitting they said that invisalign can definitely fix that i just i have to wait a little bit um to get more range of motion before they can make the aligners but so far looking good now i just you know have to wait got all that stuff out I feel like I go to the Goodwill like once a week now. <laughs> Creation really out here with the best soft foods. Whoops, left my computer to die, but I have my lunch and some more coffee. Since it's Monday, I am gonna try and get stuff done today. <sighs> I do have a good amount of stuff to edit and work on that doesn't involve me filming my face. <laughs> Let's just do a swelling update. Can smile a little better. So weird how outside it reflects on me like blue almost. Um, but right now I am just editing a vlog and then start editing a main channel video. It's like three weeks until Monica and I actually get the keys for the Palm Springs house. And so I wanna start researching contractors for like the kitchen, pool heater, landscapers, all of that. Cause I really wanna get that going like ASAP when we get the house. Okay, so I'm just gonna end this vlog here because it's multiple days and I don't want it to be like, you know, 10 days. Um, but yeah, things are definitely better. I feel like I have a lot more energy back. Um, I think technically I am allowed to work out now, but I just can't do anything too intense. I mostly am just kind of going on walks and like, I don't know, I feel kind of weird about going on a run. Like, I feel like it would like shake my jaw, you know? Um, might go on like a little hike, something like that. But yeah, things are doing better. I don't feel as freaked out about how my face looks because I do think the swelling has gone down even more and I think it does have like a long way to go still. So just kind of, you know, trying to do what I can. But yeah, I'm going to end this vlog here and hopefully in the next one, I'll be able to smile even more. Okay, bye.